Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest for the week of December 18th, 2017. Uh, so a couple of uh, healing tips uh, this week that have come up is one, you may have noticed that your five elements have been out of balance, especially if you're using my Topican Healing Guides. I believe that is on, yes, that's on Guide 1. So your um this is the, the check sheet that we usually use for imbalances. So five elements comes up. You can search further why the five elements are out of balance. So elements uh, include water, um, wood, fire, earth, and metal. In Chinese medicine, we have these five main elements. Um, and uh, there can be certain symptoms related to the elements being out of balance. For example, uh, the water element uh, has been out of balance a lot this week for whatever reason. Uh, it seems to be related to some ascension cycles going on and then things, you know, uh, starting to heal. Um, and you can actually look up, you know, five elements balance and what symptoms they are if you're interested. A lot of times you can just go to the Topican, he Topican Healing Guides and and go ahead and heal whatever layers underneath that and then the five elements just start to balance out but things everything from insomnia to hot flashes to feeling sad uh, could be related to the five elements being out of balance so i just want to share that little tip with you so the other very interesting thing uh and would love some verification of this but it's pretty hard some of the stuff that i i get from from source but um we were getting answers that when people went into their sleep states that in addition to the regular brainwave states that I'm, you know, was aware of, which was including, you know, alpha, which is, you know, when you meditate and do yoga, you're often in alpha brainwave state, so kind of a relaxed brainwave state. Then there's theta, which is dream state, um, and uh, some people feel it's like the manifesting state of brain waves. Um, then there's delta, deeper and deeper delta waves, where your physical body rejuvenates, you go into deep sleep. Uh, and then there's one deeper than that called Epsilon, and in the past uh, I have described from source that an Epsilon is if somebody is an Earth Angel, so an Earth Angel soul manifested into a human body, that they need enough Epsilon brainwave state sleep because that's where Earth Angels go to Angel Night Spa. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to be there at least about usually about 30 percent of the time um so if you're an earth angel you might want to check in just to see how often am i in epsilon brainwave state and do i need more of that and you can go ahead and do a topican healing command to rebalance all your brainwave states including your epsilon uh so there are brainwave states that are actually faster than uh, alpha and beta beta is your waking state so hopefully i'm currently in beta otherwise i wouldn't be able to put a bunch of words together so <laughs> So, um, so beta is when you're like doing, think of you're doing math problems or accounting or, you know, paying attention, hopefully at school, you know, if you're a kid. So that's beta. And uh, there's faster brainwave states than beta and that has been described, including gamma and hyper gamma. And these are considered very, very high consciousness states. What's very fascinating, uh, although I go into this in more detail, with um, my Light Warrior um, boot camp, as far as clearing sleep realms of negative energies, is that the hypergamma state, uh, I often find there's interference there, often from extraterrestrial interference uh, that is not, you know, good, you know, that happens there. Uh, so that's like that, that area, that brainwave frequency that can be tapped into. So when we download the Universal Shield, which is just part of your natural immunity that we evolve and we support through uh, my ascension tools, my MP3s, etc., then that cleans out that state and their ability to tap into you at hyper gamma. So we want to clean all that stuff up. So I, I want to go all the way down again. Now there's a, another brainwave state that I've discovered higher than hypergamma, but I don't want to talk about that today, but I want to talk about the one, the very lowest one, even lower than, um, than epsilon, which is, I'm calling it lambda. Okay. Because I don't think anybody's called it, but I'm calling it lambda. So in lambda brainwave state, that's come up a couple times in healings too, where we are now accessing this really, really slow brainwave state. And it's fairly new quote unquote and this is where our alternate timelines and us actually share our wisdom <laughs> which I think is very interesting um, so because we've now converged into all of ourselves we can heal all of our timelines all at once this is all part of this you know convergence of timelines timeline collapse there's all sorts of you know terminology for it so in lambda we're supposed to be sharing our wisdom among all our lives which sounds really cool 
But interestingly, there have been a few interferences that I found there, and one in particular uh, was odd because I was like, well, how can entities can even interfere in that uh, that brainwave state? I don't really get it. But what we discovered was that the alternate timeline was an alien in this case. The alternate self was an alien, but the alien had an entity attached. So therefore, that entity had access to that brainwave state to interfere with the other timelines, but not necessarily that it's planning to do that. But that's kind of what happens. We cleared that out so the Lambda state could be nice and clean and just be used for what it's supposed to be used for, which is apparently sharing wisdom among, you know, all your other timelines. So that's been really interesting. So you can just check to see if you have access to the Lambda, Lambda sleep realm state. You may not even have to have that, but uh, many people are now uh, accessing that and whether it's balanced. So just ask if it's balanced. If it's balanced, great, leave it alone. If it's not balanced, just command that it be balanced in the highest and best way. Anything preventing it, be healed now. Okay, that's your quick Topican healing <laughs> directive for healing uh, Lambda. If you have any Further difficulties, you may need a, you know, to do a group or one-on-one -on -one session with me, but hopefully that'll be nice and clean and easy. Um, the other latest info I want to share with you is I was doing some testing around pain because I suddenly started having an activation of some of these pains. Some of these were like new, some of them old, and it was very curious to me. <laughs> um, because I was like, well, let's see, it's, I don't think it's anything I'm doing. Like most people, when they have a new pain, they think, what did I do? What did I eat? You know, if you're conscious enough to go, well, did I eat too much sugar? Did I eat too much gluten? You know, did I eat dairy? Whatever that is. Well, in my case, I couldn't find any of that kind of stuff. So I just tend to, my tendency now, instead of judging, going, oh, my God, I'm in pain. I can't skate. What am I going to do for adult nationals? You know, is to go into, well, that's curious. I would prefer not to have this pain. But obviously, somebody's trying to get my attention. So what am I supposed to learn here? So um, the other night I was uh, I had uh, was going up and down the stairs and I was getting a sharp pain in my knee and I was like whoa you know that's really intense. So I went to asking what's going on. I'm like okay okay source okay guides is there something you want me to learn? And of course in this case yes. So I started doing my you know topic can healing thing and started looking at okay so the simple commands about you know pain relief and my pain erasure mp3 wasn't cutting it because there was something else i needed to know so i the word cytokines popped into my head now if you're in biochemistry you know what i'm talking about but cytokines are chemicals in the body that your body makes and it's part of the inflammatory response and it's there to like clear up you know, viruses and whatever, you know, bad things. So in my case, I didn't have anything quote unquote bad to clear up, but yet my cytokine production was higher than it needed to be. So I thought, well, that's interesting. So then I asked why, and then I found that there was a promoter region of some part of the DNA, whatever, that was um, uh, not balanced so that I was producing more cytokines than I really needed to and that contributed to my pain. So we kind of did a cancel on that and rebalanced uh, the cytokine production. <laughs> and then there were some other things that were causing pain. But after even just doing that one cytokine clearing that night, the next day, definitely a lot better, a lot better. So I'd say at least 50% better. So the other thing I just uh, tested was um, very, very challenging to get to, but I do want to share with you, especially those of my Light Warrior students that have done the Light Warrior Advanced Healing Program. This will uh, be a little bit of review for you uh, and also the Unlock Your Superpowers program. Um, there is something what I call the crystalline body matrix. It's like an evolving blueprint of who you are. If you take all your timelines together, that houses all of those blueprints, you know, um, the crystalline body matrix. So, and that evolves with you with, with time. And we talked in other programs about pulling vulnerabilities out of the crystalline body matrix that you no longer need to express who you are, to experience certain things you've asked to experience. Um, and we can just pull it from all multiple timelines. So, for example, if you have a tendency towards, you know, high sugar levels or diabetes in your family, whatever, and you don't need that to learn anymore, you don't need that to discover yourself, who you are, then uh, sometimes we get the permission to just pull that vulnerability out of all of your uh, timelines through the crystal body matrix. But a lot of times we get a no, we're not allowed to pull it because it's part of 
who you are and what you need to experience. So for example, excessive, what we call excessive, but sensitivity, um, clairsentience, that kind of thing. I tried to pull that out of mine, but yeah, no, I <laughs> couldn't do it. <laughs> it was meant to be, it was supposed to be there. But it's interesting that I got re-led, or led again, yes, back to the crystalline body matrix about learning through pain. So I said, okay, what is it about the crystalline body matrix that needs to change? Um, and it took me a little bit to figure it out, but apparently, uh, 77 percent of humans on average uh, have their spiritual learnings and evolution through the experience of pain and I'm not just talking about physical pain but pain in general and about 12 percent of their spiritual learnings is through pleasure and then the other whatever that is 11 percent is through other means so I asked is this proportion optimal for where we're at right now and the answer was no so I said so I'm supposed to change the crystal body blueprint or matrix um, so that we're not experiencing or learning through experience of pain or pleasure I go yes so what we're doing now is shifting that so we can learn through other means we can spiritually learn whatever we said we wanted to learn and evolve through different means other than responding to pain or pleasure so that's pretty interesting so that 11% is going to grow so and automatically now um, that you know that learning that frequency is now um, infused into my ascension 2 deep healings uh, 2 and 4 and uh, awaken your superpowers in case you have any of those programs um, and but of course you can just direct it to yourself and say hey <laughs> I want to change my crystal body matrix this way like Dr. Karen described um, and that should be done you can see whether that's changing and then let me know whether that helps you so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else there is uh, that that was causing contributing to my knee pain, the new learnings that I'm supposed to be sharing with you, but that was a big piece of it. So, you know, uh, some of these, um, you know, testings and healings, it might feel like, wow, this is pretty overwhelming. How she, you get these results. She's a doctor, you know, she like, who would think of cytokines, you know, things like that. But, you know, I, I really feel like there's so many of you out there that um, want to learn, you know, deeper, uh, want to be able to do assessments like this and I would love it you know if there's more people doing what I do right because I'm only one person so it'd be really great if uh, I could share what I do how I do it and then you can have some of my formulas like how do you assess you know someone with hormonal imbalances how do you assess someone you know with like hair loss for example you know how would you approach it and we would use you know what I learned in medicine you know that left brain medical model and apply it to the right brain you know spiritual intuitive healing and put the two together so what I've come up with is what I call the light warrior revolution it's a membership program that's going to hopefully start in January <laughs> I've given Jennifer my assistant a lot of things to do so um, hopefully she'll get that ready for us in January um, and what it is is every month I'm going to actually do a um, a lesson like for example we would look at insomnia or, or problem sleeping you know and then I would show you all the areas that I would test around sleeping and then we would have a case study as well so you could see it in action how I would actually go about um, doing this and then how to do the healing um, and then that would be loaded up into the membership area which you can watch at any time um, and then you would have a little download kind of like a just a summary or cheat sheet just to see what different things are tested so you can test yourself you know um, so we're also going to do a Q&A every month around that topic or other questions so I'm really excited to launch this light warrior revolution program and it'll give me the ability to share with you the best of what I have and for those of you that already muscle test and are already interested in this stuff and I've taken all my courses it's perfect for you <laughs> so I hope you join me so stay on the mailing list because we'll let you know when that launches um, so hopefully in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, you'll have uh, an email that share, shares with you you know what the cost is when it starts etc etc we are going to offer it at uh, half price for now because we're, we're using some new systems online and um, I haven't worked out all the bugs yet so um, we decided, you know, I decided anyway to, to do it for half price so that, that over the next few months we can just kind of iron these things out and you can be really patient with me and the team as we figure out these new systems and trying to make things better, more efficient, um, you know, that work better for both us and you.
So I hope you join me for that. And if you haven't already joined the Light Warrior Network on Facebook, please do. So just search Light Warrior Network, and um, you'll see my 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 big you know cover with the the dark blue with the nice little white angel wings. <laughs> And uh, so we're branding a little differently here. So we got the Light Warrior Network going. So that is a Facebook group for um, everyone who's interested in healing, spiritual healing, you know, health and wellness. Um, you do not have to have bought anything from me in order to join it. So please do join that so you can get some support and help and prayers. And um, the uh, our radio show now has now been renamed the Light Warrior Radio with Dr. Karen Can instead of the Dr. Karen Can Show, um, cause uh, well, just cause, cause it sounds cool. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> okay all right I'm getting giddy it must be time for Christmas <laughs> anyway so uh, uh, the other thing to look forward to is um, on the light warrior network I'm actually going to be doing these really quick well me and quick I don't know but supposedly quick videos which I'm gonna be calling spiritual medicine musings so if things come up in my day and, and sometimes things come up and I'm like oh my gosh what a great lesson you know and then I kind of forget about it because you know like that happens all the time uh, but I thought well what if I did a Facebook live and just at that moment or, or close to that moment just share with you like like I did one this week on my bad skates so I got some you know skates and I was like so excited to get these new skates but they were crooked and um, you would say well that's bad luck how does someone who's supposed to be really you know teaching people how to be master of manifestation how does she manifest bad skates so I answer that question and tell you what the highlight of why that was so good that it happened to me in the light warrior network so I'm gonna make those videos the spiritual medicine musings as much as I can to, to share yeah, with you, my my insights, what happens to me sometimes. These are difficult things that that happen as well. Um, to, so I can you know share my process with you. Maybe that'll help you. And then what we'll do is we'll try to share those videos with uh, my other Facebook groups as well. So if you miss it on Light Work uh, Light Warrior Network, um, then you can catch on the other video the other sites. But obviously, we'd love for you to join the Light Warrior Network and to contribute. You know, to Motivational Mondays, Win Wednesdays, you know, Prayer Tuesdays, uh, Funny Fridays, especially Funny Fridays. I want to see funny videos and pictures, guys, because it just makes my day. Uh, spiritual Saturdays, Gratitude Sundays, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, sorry, Spiritual. No, Gratitude Saturday, Spiritual Sundays. Okay, we did it differently on the Light Warrior Network. Anyway, good thing my my assistant and friend Jacob Kent is on the ball helping with the Light Warrior Network because I do way too much, I think, and I need help. And so he's been wonderful helping to manage the group. So always give him lots of love, guys. And, of course, all my other assistants as well, including Jennifer, Bronwyn, Michael, all my team members are so awesome. Okay, I'm babbling now. I, I should probably go. But uh, anyway, so um, I for those of you that do uh, celebrate the holidays, I want to wish you all the bless. Uh, so wish you all the best and to bless you whether you celebrate the holidays or not. Merry Christmas if you do the whole Christmas thing. Um, I will be away for a week or so. So um, during the 21st and 1st, we are actually going to have replays of some of our most popular radio shows. I won't be live on those days because a lot of people probably will be doing other things other than listening to me, probably. <laughs> so, but you can look forward to that in case you're bored and you want to listen to a replay of one of our radio shows. But I wish you all the best. Lots of love. Bye for now.